Here they come. Finally. Down the street. <laughs> I know. I went over to your house. I walked around in your driveway and everything. Uh, yeah. Well, you know how school goes for me in the morning. Yes. Yeah. Well, good morning. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd. You know, it was a little chilly when I started, and now I don't really need this sweatshirt. It's, it's like, it's warm, so I get my sweat on. But today, I've already forgotten whose birthday it is. I have to check. Boy, ask me something from 20 years ago. I'll remember. Ask me something from like two minutes ago. I forget. Well, the one do I the one I do remember is uh, and I forgot. It's Billy Norris. That's the channel name. Oh my goodness! A true senior moment. I gotta look. I was trying to rack my brain, thinking it'll roll in, but it's not rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them doggies rolling, raw hide. Remember Clint Eastwood when he was just a TV star? Okay, I gotta look. It was Nina. It was Nina over at Billy Noor's. It's Nina's birthday. How could I have forgotten you, Nina? Slap, 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 slap. How could I have done that? That's just not allowed. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nina. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Last year I sang to her as Billy Norris, but that, I guess that's her husband's name. So Nina gets her own song. Billy doesn't get his song yet. It's Nina's song. And it's also Kathy Colburn. Kathy, how could I have forgotten you? My best friend's name is Kathy. I don't get it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathy. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I was tagged yesterday by Dish with D. And she was funny at the end. She said, you know, Sandy, I'm going to tag you. You said I never tag you, but I do. She has tagged me in the past. I have to agree with her. She has tagged me. Joan has tagged me. B has tagged me. But all of a sudden, when jo Robbie and I got into a little pattern, then we stopped getting tagged. So I definitely am going to do the tag today. Uh, Joan, I don't think Jim's going to be as willing as Doug was, but I'm going to try to get Jim to do it. I'm going to do it after I take my shower, and I look a little bit more presentable. And then uh, I'm going to do the tag, and um, I've got to figure out how I'm going to try to tag new people to get the ball get the ball rolling to some new some new channels that I started watching. I do like that because um, a couple people that I watched I watched Embracing Jen, and she tagged somebody different. Not different. That doesn't sound right. Somebody new, and uh, Susie Buey tag, uh, tagged somebody new that I've never watched. Um, I'm almost well. Joan tagged Edie's weight loss, WW weight loss journey, and I never knew her channel until she tagged her. I think last week or the week before. So now I watch Edie's channel all the time. And I'm trying to think, somebody else tag somebody different. Once again, not different, new. But so I'm going to try to do that to, to you know, kind of get the ball rolling a little bit more. And Tracy, I have to tell you, and I don't mean this as a, a, a slam or anything like that, but whenever she does her videos, I always just, I know that she's always said she's short. I've always heard her say she was short, that she jokes that her hair is longer than her. You know, I mean, I, I realize that, I remember her saying that, once again, because she didn't tell me five minutes ago. She probably told me months ago, and I remember it from now. But uh, she um, was doing her tag video, and then she walked, or no, maybe it wasn't her tag video. I think it was when her purple plan, she was talking about her purple plan. We're still working on the floor next door. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, she got, she walked over to the uh, bookshelf to get something. And then I realized that she was standing through the whole video. <laughs> I thought she was sitting. You are short, like you said. So you and Gina Pearson, maybe you'd have a race to see who could be taller. I'm taller, I'm taller, I'm taller. Because Gina's short too. But uh, anyway, I, that just, I, I just thought that was kind of cute. That I, thought that, I thought that she was sitting the whole time and she, she's standing. I know she has back problems and they say that it's better to, at least Jim says he feels better when he's standing. Not for long periods, but you know, he feels better standing with his back. But anyway, 
For breakfast, I think I'm going to have some bacon and eggs and a piece of Ezekiel toast with some holy guacamole and a cup of tea. You know when I say cup of tea, I actually drink a pot of tea. But it's a decaf tea, so I don't think it really bothers me too much. Well, you know what? I take that back. I put the Lipton tea bag in my cup, and then in the teapot, I put a decaffeinated flavored tea. And then after I get done dunking the tea to how I like it, then I put that tea bag into the pot. So I probably drink maybe four cups of tea. If I, you know, probably four cups of tea. But then for lunch, I'm going to have um, some pepperoni, turkey pepperoni with a cheese stick and a sugar-free pudding. And um, I think I'm going to have a, graham, a couple of graham crackers and some um, my Simply Lemonade. And then for dinner, I think I have, I think I got to check. I think I have corn on the cob and some, I now remember when I went to BJ's, I bought a big package of uh, chicken sausage. But when I rearranged my freezer the other day to put all like the poultry together and the red meat together and the burger together and the hamburgers together and the hot dogs together, I don't remember seeing the chicken sausage. So I have to look to see that. But anyway, I think I have a corn on the cob left in my uh, crisper. So if I do, I'm going to have corn on the cob with some cottage cheese and pineapple and um, a chicken sausage with uh, iced tea. Stay on plan because my goal, one pound, one pound. So what you have to do, you know what, I, you know what, this just annoys me because my battery is dying again. Um, it was at 100% when I went to bed at 210. I woke up at 810 and it's at 40%. So I think when they do updates over the during the night, it just drains on my battery. And I don't like to plug my phone in when I'm sleeping because I always heard that you can overcharge your battery. <clears throat> so I don't know how much we're gonna more we're gonna be filming. Is my point before I go dead? Not not you know you know what I mean by the battery. But anyway. Um, what I wanted to talk about was forming small habits that you wake up every morning and think this is a new habit that I'm going to start today. Now my habit every day is to go for a walk. It's, it's a small habit. It's one that I do every day. Not on the weekends. I don't walk on the weekends. But uh, I, um, that's my habit. My other habit is in the morning planning out my food for the day. Which a better habit would be the day before to plan out my food for the next day. Because then that will keep me on track a little bit better. But... Uh, you know, it can be just anything. I just, you know, like this is the week that I plan out my budget for October. Now granted, I um, I have the same amount of money coming in, but my bills come at all different times. And so I have to figure out which check is going to pay it, you know, whatever. And then what check I'm going to put money into the savings account and what check is just going to pay my bills and, you know, like that kind of stuff. And it, it varies from month to month because <clears throat> my pension check comes in the same day but uh, our supplemental pension check depends on the mail I tried doing a direct deposit but that was like a fiasco because the way they did it for my money market account they had to mail it to somebody who then deposited it into their account then transferred it into my account and it was just taking forever so I just said you know just mail it let's cut out the middleman just mail me the check and I'll deposit and then you know I just do it on my phone direct deposit on my phone mobile deposit so I never know when that checks gonna come and then I get my Social Security check the second Wednesday of the month, and Jim gets his the third Wednesday of the month. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the 14th and the 21st. It could be any other days. But, uh, but getting back, just make some habits that you know that you can stick to. And, uh, you know, if it's like getting up in the morning and do an exercise routine, make that your habit. You know, if it's eating at a certain time, make that your habit. Because I really think that if you make small little habits every day and live with them, live by them, and, you know, that doesn't mean that you can't change them around sometime during the day, because we can always change them. But kind of have like a plan, at least for the day. It's better if you have a plan for the week, but if you at least have a plan for the day, you, you'll be more successful, I think. So, anyway, let's go plug you in before we go. Talk to you guys at breakfast. We're going to have bacon and eggs and some grapefruit and a cup of tea. Today is Wednesday, September 23rd. Started my day with a prayer. My quote is, allow yourself to be proud of yourself and the progress you have made. 
It's an eight point breakfast, zero for my egg tea, two for my banana, three points for my holy guacamole, three points for my center cut bacon, and two points for my Ezekiel toast. Eight points, still have 15 points worth for the rest of the day. Well, David called me <laughs> yesterday, last night, and he had got a ticket for, he was turning uh, on a red light. I guess he was in the middle of the lane and he thought he was supposed to complete I guess he wasn't far enough up that it was considered a complete turn, so he got a ticket. But then he found out that his license plates expired on his birthday. Uh, his birthday was April 27th. So he's been driving around for like almost six months, five months, without a proper plate. So we went to our Secretary of State office to try to get the uh, plates renewed. And I thought, well, I'm here. I might as well do mine. Jim got a new truck, and they didn't uh, do the new plates for him for this new truck. So, you know, I couldn't just do it online because I didn't have a proper registration for it and so I get there and there's a big sign on the door appointments only they give you a website to go on so I go on the website and uh, the next appointment they're booking is for January January <laughs> so I went in and uh, there was a nice guy came to the thing and I explained it and he says yeah we're a little backlog because we can only take so many in a day and you know blah 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 all that because of COVID he said, but if you want to just go over to Myers, which is right next door, it's like less than a quarter mile away. So if you want to go over to Myers, they have a kiosk and they charge you $3.95, but you can get it done for $3.95. And I thought, for $4, I mean, I am pretty cheap about a lot of things, but um, rather than stand in line or wait till January, so I told David to meet me here and we went in and we got them easy peasy. Bing, bing, boom. <laughs> we were done. But the only thing I didn't like is I had to pay $4 for my plate and then $4 for Jim, so it cost me $8. Now that. Now we're pushing the line. I should have probably just went home because I could have done mine online, but I thought, hey, I'm here. Let's just get it done with. I, I, you know, what's $8? So, so David has his plates. I have my plates. I got Jim's plates. And now um, we're going over to the courthouse so David can pay his ticket and uh, hopefully get the uh, points waived. We'll see. And get the uh, ticket for the uh, registration. Usually if you show up that you went and replaced your plate, they'll waive it, especially now with everything going on. So he'll just have to pay the ticket. So we'll see how that goes. He's a little bummed because uh, he had an extra $300 this week, and he was going to buy some tools for work. And now we just paid $125 for his plate, and I'm sure his ticket's going to probably be about $150. So goodbye. <laughs> so. Learned an, he learned an expensive lesson, so, but he's a good kid, so that's, uh, it's just sad that things go this way, but you know, you live and learn, so, okay, let's get going, meet him over at the courthouse. Okay, I'm going to have some lunch, going to have a cheese stick, some pepperoni, graham cracker, and some jello, and my lemonade. I use uh, eight ounces of the Simple lemon, Simply Lemonade for one point, zero for the diet cranberry juice. One point for 28 grams or 16 turkey pepperonis. And two points for one sheet of the uh, graham cracker. And zero for the jello. It's sugar free. So it is a five point lunch. Zero for my jello. Two points for my graham cracker. One point for my turkey. No, I put bacon, turkey, pepperoni. One point for my cheese stick and one point for my lemonade. So I still have 10 points left for my dinner. Well, I'm sitting here watching videos on TV and answering my comments at the same time. And I wanted to thank Keeping It Simple, because yesterday, remember when I was talking about the Dancing with the Stars, and I was saying that I, I was prejudiced, and I couldn't think of the word, and I, I told you that I knew that wasn't the right word. Well, Keeping It Simple came up with the word biased. That's the word I meant. It's like they were reading into my mind. Did you get lost in there? Because there's a lot of stuff going on up there. There really is. It's like, eh, I wouldn't want to be up there. It's a scary place. But I did watch Dancing with the Stars again today, and it just reaffirmed my belief that the show now has become the Tyra Banks show featuring Dancing with the Stars. Because I don't know if you've noticed it when I watched it from tonight, I watched it today from last night, that it seems like she rushes the judges along with their comments so that she can have some useless conversation with the dancers, and then she's got to do her wardrobe changes and things like that. I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. <laughs> but anyway, i got to get back to watching my show. So I'll talk to you guys at dinner.
because I haven't decided. I did go find. I did go look in the freezer, and I couldn't find the chicken sausage out in the freezer out in the garage. And so I went in this garage in the house freezer, and I found a, a sausage. I think it's uh, Italian sausage. I didn't label it, but it looks like an Italian sausage. And then I thought, no, I know there was a, those chicken sausages out there. So when I got back from my walk, I went for another little walk this afternoon. Nothing, nothing great to write home about. Just a little quick half mile. Maybe might have been a mile. I don't know. It wasn't very much. But anyway, um, just to get me out of the house. And I thought I'm looking in that freezer again. And I did have it in there, but I had it with the uh, the red meat. I don't know why. I had it with the steaks and the roasts and the pork chops. Which pork chops aren't really red meat, I know. It's the other white meat. Gee, Sandy, don't you pay attention to the commercials? Pork is the other white meat. Oh, my, my thing is going dark. It's saying, get back here. We're missing you. So, okay. I blabber too much. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. <laughs> well, I did stop by the post office today, and I did get mail. But I'm going to open it tomorrow morning. I'm going to go by the post office one more time in the morning and see. So tomorrow I'll put up a happy mail video. Okay, I'm going to have a sausage with some corn on the cob. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. A cottage cheese and pineapple. I did go one point over, but I still have a blue dot. Four points for the sausage, four points for the bun, three points for the cottage cheese, and zero for the tea, the corn, and the pineapple. Let's go eat. Oh, and my iced tea. I forgot about my iced tea. Well, another day I stayed on plan. I still got my blue dot even though I was one point over, but it's time to close out the video. You hear the song, the Beatles. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Always stay safe and remember to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share.